Along the banks of the Passaic River, a major transformation is in the works. By the truckload, a nearly $10 million redevelopment plan to convert this blighted section of Passaic City known as Dundee Island Park into a premier recreation hub, the city and county's first ever riverfront park. It's going to give an opportunity for open space and recreation for children in a downtown area where otherwise they did not have it. Passaic Mayor Hector Laura says he's been targeting this land since he was on the county freeholder board, perhaps even longer, as a kid born and raised in the city. This three and a half acre swath of neglected property became a hotbed for crime. I've seen the change in this area. I've seen how certain activities, drug use, prostitution, homelessness has become more prevalent in that area. I see the same kids crossing those train tracks, going through that area, just like I used to cross them every day. For a long time, this has been an underused portion of the Passaic Riverfront here in the city of Passaic. And what we're able to do by turning this into a county park is to make it a riverfront space for all kinds of activities. Freeholder director John Bartlett says this is the first new county park for Passaic in almost 50 years. When it's complete, it'll have athletic fields, playgrounds, picnic areas, and walking trails, paid for through state and county grants. It's huge because it's been overdue. They're doing a good job over there for the uh, for the community and uh, and, it's, and they're doing that for the uh, kids out there. But the park's plans didn't come without conflict. To start, the city had to remove the transient residents and the shanty town they built along the abandoned railroad tracks tucked behind overgrown trees at the park. The city's human services coordinator says it's been used as a homeless encampment for decades. We had a board of social services, we had the PATH program come out, and we tried to do an outreach to see if we can get them uh, to transition. Um, to find homes or, but a lot of them either are afraid or they just don't want to. But the conflict didn't end there. The city is in the midst of a land swap deal with the developer who owns both the land and those tracks, which are key to the deal because they separate Dundee from the Pulaski Park, a renovated recreation space used by families and schools in the community. On the other side of this fence is where the railroad tracks are located. It's also where homeless encampments have been set up. In fact, we can hear folks there right now. Now, the mayor's vision is to remove those tracks and combine these two spaces. I had reached out to my staff to ask the developer if he would be interested in working with the city to try to see if that land would not be developed but rather could be incorporated. They've tentatively struck a deal. The developer will get one acre of Green Acres property on the other side of town in exchange for the strip of land separating the parks. There are some in the organization who would like the uh, site that we're discussing for the land swap to be preserved as open space. There are some who would like to see it developed uh, to bring ratables to the neighborhood. The developer's plans to build residential housing on Green Acres property caused some to raise a flag. Should open space be used for public use? That's a concern that we've heard. Well, it depends because consider this. We're talking about almost, um, uh, we're talking about almost three acres of land that right now is privately owned compared to one acre. So we would be taking one acre and giving it to private developer and creating additional open space that didn't exist anymore. The city will hold another public hearing about the land swap, hoping to get everyone on the same side of the tracks. In Passaic, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.